Hey, I'm Seamus. I'm Vanna. How long has Vanna been together? Uh, 12 years. Uh, the two original members, Nick and Sean, have been doing it for 12 years now, and there's been a whole bunch of lineup changes, and uh, the sound has changed a lot, but uh, I think they started in 2004, or somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. So, it's been a while. So, Coral wants to know, um, where are you guys from? Kind of all over New England. Um, I live in New Hampshire. Uh, Davey is originally from New Hampshire area. Same with Joel. And Nick and Sean both live in Massachusetts. So at this point, we kind of all live in different different places all around New England. So what is the coolest venue you've played yourself? Um, probably some of the places on the Bear Tour that we just did in... Uh, last winter because we got to go like we got to go some places in Europe that um, we don't typically get to mm -hmm. uh, like we did like some places in Eastern Europe so I'd probably say Budapest was probably one of the coolest places I've ever been able to play um, either that or one of the O2s of the UK on that thing tour all right what is your favorite Vanna album that's been released probably all hell Mine too. <laughs> Mine too. I think I'm, I'm definitely partial to it because that's the only one that I've actually had like had a part of mm -hmm. making. Um, probably all hell. I do. I used to really like curses a lot. Um, I like the first EP that they did a lot. I like all of them, but my favorite is probably all hell. What is your favorite song to play live? Pretty grim. <laughs> yeah, definitely pretty grim. What other bands have you played for? Well, I've played in a bunch of different bands. I, right now, I play in... Well, my other band is called Batman. Um, I play in another band. I played in another band called My Fictions before Batman and Vanna. But I'm kind of always just filling in for, like, friends bands, too. Like, I played with Hit the Lights last year. Um, I just did a tour with Can't Swim a few months ago. Uh... I've been filling in for uh, Astronoid for a little bit now. Um, so really, like, whoever will, you know, if someone needs a drummer or whatever, like, and they hit me up, I, I'll just fill in and kind of do that. But as far as, like, bands that I'm in, I my only bands that I'm in right now are Vatnet and Vanna. Why is Vanna breaking up? Well, I think all of us are kind of in different places in our life right now where uh, – we kind of have to um, kind of show the attention, uh, take our attention and, and, and put it towards the other things that we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, like Nick just started tattooing. Uh, Sean has a home now and has a full-time job. So we kind of just are at a place where we have to be focusing on other things because we've been focusing on Vanna for too long. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah, there's definitely no – no animosity or anything between any of us. It's just kind of, you know, this is the time for us to move on for right now and, and kind of focus on other things in life. So how long have you guys foreseen this coming? Uh, probably like four or five months, I'd oh, say. That's fairly new still. <laughs> yeah, probably like four or five months. I mean, we kind of talked about how we want to, uh, how we want to do this and how we want our last tour to be. So we've, we've, We've been planning it and talking about it probably for like since since fall, I'd say. With everybody splitting up, um, is there any side projects that anybody is going to be starting that you know about? Um, not a, not as of right now. I'm sure people will continue doing music in some capacity, but I don't really know the full details on that right now. Okay. Um, so what is the weirdest show that you've ever played? Weirdest show in Vanna or just like in general? In general. Man, we played some weird ones. I honestly can't think of anyone off the top of my head, like any one particular one that stands out. Mm -hmm. My other band, like we, for a while, like we just played people's basements and people's houses and all all types of like weird venues that shouldn't be having bands play. So <laughs> we've definitely had some like some weird ones. Uh, nothing that jumps out at me right now, but I'm sure as soon as we finish, I'll think of like something crazy or something that I should have said. But for right now, I can't really think of it off the top of my head. 
So what are you currently listening to? Well, right now, right before you Skype me, I was listening to the new Thrice record. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? New Mastodon record. I've been I've been jamming a bunch. Um, what else? There's so much good stuff that's coming out right now. I just can't think off the top yeah. of my head. <laughs> Honestly, when I like throughout the day, I usually listen to like a bunch of podcasts. So I'm not really. Sometimes I'll take like a little break from music and then. If something like catches my attention, I'll, I'll go and revisit it. But for the most part, when I'm like working throughout the day, I'll just listen to podcasts. But I've been jamming the new Mastodon a lot since it came out. That's, that's right. been good. So if you could go on tour with any three bands, who would you want to tour with? Um, Deftones, Metallica, and, and that's a hard one. Deftones, Metallica. Like of all time, or just of like all time, they could be dead, they could be split apart, doesn't matter. Okay. Just make it harder for you. <laughs> Deftones, Metallica, and Led Zeppelin. All right, um, hamburgers or pizza? Pizza. That was like you didn't even have to think about that one. <laughs> no question. So, what's your favorite tour that you've ever played with any uh, groups you've been on? Probably Beartooth, Vanna, in Europe this past winter because mm -hmm. that was the first time ever going to Europe for like a like a proper European tour so yeah that, that was probably my favorite that'd be a really good lineup too so <laughs> yeah the tra trash boat bear tooth and banner so yeah that was, that was probably my favorite one so far so what is the weirdest thing a fan has said or done to me um someone on warp tour this summer asked me to choke them in a photo that was pretty <laughs> Like a grown adult man asked me to choke him in the photo. Oh my so. god! <laughs> do you guys have any pre-show rituals, like something that you have to do before every show? Um, no, not really. We don't. Uh, we don't. Nothing that we do every single show. Uh, besides, like stretch. Like we all try to like stretch out and warm up because it is definitely like a really physical show. So mm -hmm. um, stretch, and then yeah, that's that's pretty much it. What are five tips that you can give to upcoming musicians for surviving on the road? Um, drink lots of water. Uh, make sure you sleep whenever you can. Try not to sit all night because that will catch up. Sure. Um, what else? Uh, try to stay positive and like, and don't try to. Um, definitely try to stay positive. I'm trying to think two more those are three those are three that i can think of off the top of my head what about for upcoming musicians like playing warp tour oh um because i know that one can be brutal <laughs> stay hydrated for sure uh three stay out of the sun as much as possible um, but other than that warp tour is really not that hard i know people say it's like crazy but you know I, I feel like as long as you drink enough water and stay hydrated, it's really nothing too crazy. All right. So the next question, um, how did Vanna stay alive this long with all of the changes in the music scene? Um, I think we just make music that we really care about and we really love. Um, I don't think we've ever put out something that we didn't feel truly represents Vanna. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously I haven't been involved with every every record that, that they've done, but I know that that's kind of the way they've always mm -hmm. approached making music from uh, from a really honest place. So I think that that definitely, uh, that's the the one constant that's gone through, you know, all the member changes and kind of like the style changes that they've gone through. I think at the end of the day, it was always really uh, passionate and music that they really wanted to be playing and writing. So what is your favorite place to eat while touring? Uh, depends where we're at. Uh, for fast food, In-N-Out. I really like In-N-Out a I've lot. I've never had In-N-Out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Um, so if we're in California or anywhere on the West Coast, I try to hit up In-N-Out. But it depends. Like, wherever we are. Like, there are good local spots mm -hmm. in cities, and, and we kind of definitely got to know all, all the, pay, the places throughout the years. Um, so, yeah other places 
just off the top of my head, I like Voodoo Donuts a lot. Every time we're in Portland, I try yeah. to stop there. <laughs> There's so many, though. There's so many different spots. Some of the oddball places. Yeah. What are you most excited about for the upcoming tour? Um, just hanging out with all of our friends because I know that these last shows. Oh, they're going to be will, sold out. I, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's going to be a lot of friends and a lot of family that are coming to the show, so I'm really looking forward to everyone uh, getting together with us one last time. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there any talk, probably not, but is there any talk right now on a possible reunion tour way down the road? Uh, not right now. I know it's still early, but... <laughs> yeah, we haven't broken up yet, so not, yeah. not right <laughs> What do you do when you're by yourself? Uh, or do we want to know? <laughs> do we really want to know? Yeah, I mean, I, a lot of the time when I have free time, I spend it playing. So Michael wants to know, can you guys not break up? That was like a serious question. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'll, I'll do it. I'll ask it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're like, yeah, not happening. Oh, sorry. Uh, what kind of sushi do you like? Uh, avocado rolls. Avocado rolls. Yeah. <laughs> So if you could get a uh, tattoo anywhere without any meaning, what would it be and where would it be? Uh, that's a wild question. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I really don't know. So if it had no meaning and I could get it anywhere? Yep. Um, no judgment or anything. <laughs> I have no idea how to answer that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Now you're going to be thinking about it, like, the rest of the yeah. day. Um, boxers or briefs? Uh, briefs. Briefs. Yeah. This is Seamus from Vanna. Uh, check us out on our final tour coming up this summer. Uh, see you out there. God, you did good. <laughs> was that terrible? Huh? Was that terrible? No, it was so bad. Oh, my God. <laughs>